Raziel. What pathetic charade is this now, Mobius? No charade, Raziel. Only the entreaties of this martyr spirit. Your pleas mean nothing to me after all your deceit. You have propelled me into Nosgoth's future, Mobius, and left me stranded here. I am truly sorry, Raziel, but it was necessary. Consider it the last valiant act of a doomed man. You have strayed from your purpose, and now behold the result. Gaze upon the wasteland you and Cain offered together. I fail to see how I'm responsible. You spared Cain, and by doing so, you have released a multitude of horrors upon this world. I can accept that Cain has murdered me, as, as the Time Guardian. I foresaw that incident long before it occurred, and I take some small comfort in the fact that Cain remains the sole survivor of his vital breed. But you have single-handedly made my sacrifice meaningless. Your argument is disingenuous, Time Streamer. I cannot see how killing or sparing Kane's future self would alter these events. This wasteland was created by Kane's original refusal at the Pillars. And amidst all these twists and turns, that event has never changed. You are cunning, Morbius. But I think you've gotten time for me on the end. As Cain clings to his precious seat of power, the pillars sink into a mire of decay, dragging all of Nosgoth down with them. I don't think this has anything to do with the pillars or Cain's failure to sacrifice himself. I think you're simply afraid because you don't know what he's up to. He's a wild card, isn't he? And you don't want his influence in your game. Which is why you wanted me to eliminate him. Well, now that he survived, you have no idea what's coming, do you? Maybe, for the first time in your entire life, you're terrified that he may have truly found a third option out of the dilemma you orchestrated for him. Cain's lies have addled your mind. Leave this place and trouble my spirit no more. If you even are a spirit, you forgot me. I have a way to tell for sure. If you're willing to risk it. I didn't think so. Either way, you lose.
these were the pillars so familiar to my blighted eyes. But now that I had begun to learn their true significance, I regarded the pillars' destruction with a new, enlightened sense of horror. And I questioned now whether Cain's simple refusal, his mere ambition, could truly have caused such devastation. I felt that some darker influence was at work here. As I approached, I discerned the spirit of Ariel, bound here now for more than a century. Forever am I bound, hope abandoned, my spirit tethered to this place. What destroyed the circle could not touch me, for I was newly dead and beyond harm's reach. I alone was spared the descent into madness, and Cain alone was spared the pain of death. When Nepraptor's poison seized Cain even in the safety of the womb, much more than just his destiny was lost. All of Norsgoth lost balance. Consider us now, both of us less than we once were. I, pure but insubstantial, and Cain, terribly real, but corrupted. Your imprisonment here has deranged you, spirit. You fixate on Cain because you believe he is the tether that binds you here. We both know he is not the author of your agony. The pillars were subverted by dark forces, invited by the Guardians themselves. The more I learn of your circle, the more I see a tangle of nested manipulations. Cain handed them their victory. They sought to topple the pillars, and he was their willing instrument. Or was he their unwilling pawn? Would it blunt your wrath to know that Cain's dilemma was calculated to bring the pillars down, regardless of the choice he made, and that the devastation would have been even greater had he chosen the path you would prescribe for him? Uh, you are a subtle, deceitful creature. But your clever arguments do not absolve Cain. He must die for the pillars to be restored. There is no other way. Then consider this more ominous possibility. What if Cain's death does not restore the pillars? Consider that it may simply be too late, that this world may be beyond redemption, and that you may be bound here eternally. Do you hound me, demon? You can see that I am captive here. Show me some mercy. Like the mercy you showed your fellow guardians when you set Cain on them? Or the mercy you showed Cain when you kept him ignorant of his destiny while you used him as the scourge of the circle? Or perhaps like the mercy you showed your beloved Nepraptor when you made him Cain's first kill? You are cruel. Why do you torment me? I'm merely looking for answers, Ariel. Ah, very well. I'll leave you in peace. But know this about you and this purgatory from which you long to escape. You're merely at the threshold.